In this session, we will be focusing on two important methods. One is called index of, and another one is called substring. Right? You have noticed that I've actually created a web project, and this web project is called Logic Experiment. And uh, you have noticed that I've created some web forms ready for the demo here. Right? You will notice that this web form is actually called FRM experiment index of. So I would like to go and use this web form to experiment how to go and use the index of method and what is it for. So we need to go and understand the behavior a bit. Right? Let's take a look at the presentation file. I've already provided something inside the presentation file. You'll notice that I've actually coded uh, a div server control so that my C sharp code can actually output some values into this div server control so that I can check the results. And you have noticed that I've actually providing some styling command here that will tell the browser that please apply all these styling code right so that my div data will look much better and it is quite visible for my experimentation purposes. Right? It will look like a box. Now let's take a look at the code behind file. This code behind file, I've already placed two lines of code here in order to go and start off something. Right? You'll notice that this first uh, line is actually creating a data variable having the string content of A4D. And this line is actually trying to assign the content of this data variable, which is holding the A4D, into the inner text property that belongs to the div data. So what is the expected result? Let me actually do a quick rebuild. And let me actually try to go and view this in the browser. So what do I expect in the browser? You will notice that A4D, the content of the data variable, is found inside the div data box here. This is the div control here. Okay, right. So this is actually just a few startup warming up command. And right now, I would like to begin experimenting what is index of right the purpose is experiment what is index of so this is just a quick code in order to go and test that my div uh, data can be usable so right now let's try div data dot inner text right then i'm actually going to supply data dot index of then i'm going to provide four right i'm going to provide four notice that i'm, actu I'm actually providing a value of four into the index of which belongs to the data variable and you notice that it's actually complaining why is it complaining because this index of is trying to go and return an integer you notice that the error message says that cannot implicitly convert type integer to string so uh, since that is actually the error message I will actually just convert into a string. Now, why must I convert into a string? Because in order to show data inside the div data, which is the server control, it only accepts string data type values. So I'll just need to go and convert it into a string first. But still, what is the purpose of index of? Now, this is what's going to happen. You see, when I supply a value of 4 into the index of method that belongs to the data variable what happens is that i'm telling this data variable that hey can you please find whether or not there is a for found inside your string of characters here so will the data variable be able to go and find the the for yes it will find the for but when it finds the for it cannot actually just tell you that yes i found it no 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 in order to show and prove that it has found this character for what it will do is that it will just return you the position of this found value right because i'm searching a value of 4 inside this data variable so this is the index of and i would like to go and take a look what kind of position information that this data variable will try to give me so i'm actually going to save this work and do a quick rebuild and try to go back to the browser and have a quick refresh and you will notice that it is showing a value of 1 Right, it's showing a value of 1. So let us actually try another value for him to search. Let's just say that I will actually provide an A. Right? And let's see whether or not it will actually give me something else. If I actually try to go and refresh, it will give me a value of 0. Right? It's giving me a value of 0. Now you notice that this value here is actually quite not visible enough. So I will actually try to go and increase the font size. Right, probably to 26. 
since it is free no need money i no need to pay right so let me actually try to go and refresh and you notice that it is indeed a value of zero after uh where's the code here ah uh, yes okay so after i've provided the value of a it has found the a and it returned me a value which is zero now it is returning me a zero it is returning me a zero when i search for an a it is returning me a one when i search for four so if i attempt to go and search for d what is the uh, what what is the expected uh, what is the expected uh, output that i should ex i should see inside the browser okay so let me actually just rebuild and let me come back to the browser and let me refresh it will give me a two right so in other words the position of a is zero the position of four is one and the position of d is two right in other words index of is actually just a method to allow me to go and search for something within a string data variable with, within a string variable such as data okay now so let's just say that i will actually key in something else like a4d again what will happen right right now if i actually search for d again right what is the expected results that will be returned by the index of let me actually try to go and rebuild and let me actually try to go and refresh and let's have a look it should still return me a value of two right now let me actually try to go and grab the a right means that i'm asking the data variable that a can you please provide me the a part so if i actually refresh it will give me the oops oops nothing came out because i forgot to go and do a rebuild let me come back to here it should still give me a zero right so what does this mean what is the conclusion that i get from this index of this time is that it will not search the whole string once it finds a matching one it will immediately return you the position and stop searching already that's the that's the basic meaning that we can uh that we can actually appreciate from this uh index of method here okay right so is it case sensitive is it case sensitive so in other words if i put a value of small d right what is the consequences what is the consequences so let me actually do a quick rebuild and let me actually just refresh it will give me a value of two no it's giving me a value of negative one why negative one means can't find when it cannot find something it will always return me a negative one so what is the consequences if i put a uh what is the consequences if i put d space a ah right what is the consequences so let me actually do a quick rebuild and let me actually try again right it should give me a value of two why because this is the matching right this is the uh, matching string of characters that he has found right so it will give me the starting position of the match which is still this position here okay so from this experimentation here i hope you have a slight idea of what this index of method is it is a method that belongs to the string variable now let us continue from here right this is actually the next one uh experiment substring what is experiment substring so i would like to go and experiment substring but of course i will need to go and prepare the presentation file you notice that the presentation file is rather empty right now and uh, i'm not going to do much i'm just going to copy this code that i've been using in the previous web form right inside the experiment index of into the presentation file of the experiment substring okay right then after that i'll see whether i have um, done anything wrong seems like everything is okay right then after that i will actually switch to a design just to go and double check whether my copy and paste skill is still there seems okay seems okay so right now what about the code here can i use this code here to experiment yes okay let me just use this code here to experiment what is substring all about now substring have a good guess does it belong to a string variable it does belong to the string variable so let me actually try to go and work out the substring right let me try to go and tidy up the code here so that we can focus better so substring here we go so string yes 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 substring is here all right all right substring is here now substring what what is substring ah yo just now index of is what 
I ask him to find something, it will return me a position. What is index of? I provide something for the variable to search and it returns me a position. I provide something for it to search, it will return me a position. That is the index of. What about substring? Substring is, uh, let me see. Um, probably I will tidy up this uh, data here. Maybe I'll just put A, B, C, D, E. Okay? Right, so in other words, it's a string of characters having A, B, C, D, E. So substring 0, what do you give me? Right, uh, substring 0. Right, let me see, what will it give me? I will actually try to go and uh, rebuild. And then after that, I will try to go and uh, view this web form inside the browser. And uh, still A, B, C, D, E. Eh? It is still A, B, C, D, E. What is substring for? Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see. If I actually comma one ah comma one. You notice that if you take a look at the helper method here, right? It says start index. Oh, then after that, the the other one is the length, right? You notice that this one is the what? The length. This one is the starting index. So zero is the starting index, and one is the length. Probably, is it that I'm trying to go and grab the a out? Is this trying to what? Trying to grab the a out from from the what from the data is it trying to do, do that i'm not sure i'm not sure but that is the best guess i can have so let me actually see this refresh oh it's an a it's an a okay let me try three and see right let me see what is the uh what what, what is the outcome let me try three refresh Oh, A, B, C. Okay, so in other words, this one is the amount of extraction I want, right? In other words, why not I try, uh, I try what? I try three, right? Let's say that I try three, right? It means that the starting index is three. This is zero. This is one, right? B is one. And this C is what? C is, uh, wait a minute, right? Okay, this is actually, A is zero. B is one. C is 2 and D is 3 so I'm trying to start extracting from D onwards but I'm trying to extract 3 characters but there's no more characters after the E so will this give me a runtime error or not? my expected result should be uh, DE inside the div data when I test it so let me actually just view in browser and let me see whether or not so you notice that index length must refer blah 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 blah, blah name length so from here you will notice that uh, when there's not enough it will give me an error okay so let's just say that I just put an F will it still give me an error right uh, will it still give me an error so let me do a rebuild and let me actually try to go and refresh and it will give me DEF so in other words we must have uh, enough information inside here to go and play with substring or else there'll be some runtime error so those those are the, our understanding right in other words what does substring do i give him a starting index it will help me to extract the character's information out from the uh, content within the variable itself which is the data variable containing the a b c d e f okay so what if let's say that this one i say i want one and this one i put one what is the expected result? I am trying to grab. Uh, the, I'm trying to go and grab one. I'm trying to go and grab the B from the data variable, right? Am I trying to go and grab the B? Right, let me actually try out. Let me actually try out rebuild, and then after that, let me actually try to uh, go back to the browser here. Am I trying to go and get a B? Come on, give me a B. Give me a B. Yes, I got a B. Right, so this is actually a very very quick experimentation of using the index of and the substring. And this is the part one of this session. Uh, please proceed to the next part two in order for us to go and work on more logic. We would like to go and play with more logic, right? When we touch on this web form, which is count the number of digits within a string variable. Okay, right. So. Hope to see you in the part 2 of the session. Thank you very much.